Um, hello, channel children. Hello. I hope this video finds you well, I guess. <laughs> oh, my setup almost just fell. It is with a very heavy, heavy heart that I filmed this video today. <clears throat> my voice is actually still not fully healed. I was not going to film. However, I feel like this video is very important for me to make and it is something I have a lot to say about and I'm very passionate about it and I figured it would be a great uh, meaningful video to start off my commentary part of my channel. So you guys see I have one, two, three pages of notes so if I'm looking down moment momentarily it'll be the my notes or look at my laptop to ignore the mess uh, to read off articles and posts that people have made about this. If you could not tell by the title of this video, it is going to be about George Floyd, um, as well as police brutality and racial profiling and trigger warning, you know, violence, etc. So if you're not, if you're sensitive, you know, maybe not, maybe, you know, skip this one, send it out. First thing I want to say is my heart goes out to George Floyd's family and friends and loved ones because I can't even imagine how they must be feeling. And again, myself not being a person of color, I cannot imagine being afraid to walk down the street because of what I look like and what my skin color is and what race I am. I wanted to address the fact that I'm aware of white privilege, I'm aware of police brutality, I'm aware of racial profiling and it is even more so I'm even more so aware now after this happened um so the first thing that I wanted to mention is I saw this post that was like you guys are all saying well MLK was peaceful yes he was peaceful and he still got shot so the point is it doesn't matter how peaceful you are it doesn't matter how um, you go about protesting in a calm, nice manner, you know? Because police are shooting rubber bullets, they're tear gassing people, they're doing flashbangs, they're doing all of these things, not just to the rioters and to the looters and to all the people that are committing crimes in the name of in the situation and using the situation as an excuse to do crimes. Like, I'm not saying that it's okay to tear gas people, even if they're committing a crime, I guess is a gray area, but like, peaceful protesters, you know, there was a child in Seattle that got maced, like, it doesn't matter how peaceful you are, the cops are what they are, you know, the system's corrupt, and I feel like without riots, there would not be a revolution, there would be no change to legislation. I'd like to bring up the Boston Tea Party, because that was destruction, of property etc and you know that was there was there was a point there it's not like people are going out and rioting without a point you know they're doing it for a good cause they're doing it to spread awareness and say that no f you f12 this is not okay what you did to the innocent man named george floyd was not okay he was begging for his life he was saying i can't breathe he was saying he wants his mom another thing i wanted to bring up and I'll have to kind of scroll here for a bit, so we're just going to talk about while I scroll. Oh, yes. The, my next point that I have on my notes is my friend shared something about if you can't be at the protests, there are many things you can do. So... Stuff like bring food and water to the protesters, donate to bail funds, donate medical supplies, feed people, volunteer, um, continue to educate the people, pick up people from the hot zones, offer to watch their kids, confront racism, share links, donate, write, organize, rest, and re like rest, and rest and take care of yourself. So that whole post is basically talking about, like, if you're maybe disabled or unable to leave your house or pregnant or, you know, with the tear gas and everything, if you have asthma, like, maybe you're not able to go, but there's still other things you can do. Even if you just keep sharing things and keep letting people of color 
be heard in this trying time and in this difficult time. I think it's way better than sitting here and pretending like it's not happening. Another thing is, um, so far only one of them got arrested and he only got, well, only, he got charged with third degree murder, I believe, and second degree manslaughter. So murder, you know what murder is. But let me just look up manslaughter. And in Minnesota, I Googled it earlier, which is where that happened. Mind you, I'm from there. The, the maximum you could get for what he was charged with for one of them was 25 years. Manslaughter in the second degree, according to NY Penal Code Section 125.15, a person may be found guilty of the crime of manslaughter in the second degree when he or she recklessly causes the death of another person. Degree pun. Okay. Punish. What the heck? Punishment. Punishment for second degree murder is a very serious crime. The punishment for which is set by laws of each state, while the punishment for second degree murder may range from several years in prison to life in prison, the perpetrator is not subject to the death penalty. So, granted, I'm glad that these two charges were combined. But it still doesn't change the fact that the three of them are still free. Three out of four of them are free. Another point is there were thousands of arrests that all could have been avoided if they just arrested the four perpetrators. You know what I'm saying. Also, paid leave. I have it in all caps. What is it? Right here. All caps. Paid leave and a bunch of question marks. Who the fuck gets paid to murder somebody? It, like another point I have in the notes is if a civilian did this that was not a cop they would be put to jail and snap a finger at the drop of a hat but because it's a cop they're protected they're supposed to be protecting their oath is to serve and protect but they're murdering innocent black men innocent black people they're doing a lot of shady shit in general and like our, our system is just like corrupt I don't agree with Obviously, I don't agree with murder, but, um, one second. Ah, yes. So, my, my major point is, it was a non-violent crime. There was an alleged forged, um, no, counterfeit currency, and it was $20. And I have a friend who is a black man on Facebook, and he said, is his life really wor worth just $20? Is all... Is my life worth just twenty dollars? And you know, I wanted to bring up the people who are saying well, Tark and got looted and like oh, blah 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 destruction of property. Well, like property can be re rebuilt, property and items can be replaced. His life cannot be replaced. So yeah, I mean, I'm not agreeing that we should be burning everything down. I could see why people like my partner and I were talking about this. Like I could see why people would burn down the police station because it's directly. The source of the corruption you know that's where they fucking worked that's you know i'm i can understand but like i i personally don't see why people are escalating it and looting and you know if you're destroying all these businesses people of color are getting affected as well you know that people of color in these communities are now going to be suffering because maybe the grocery store they used to go to is now burned down or everything's closed down and maybe they don't have a car or i'm just saying i think there could have been a better way to go about it however this is not my, like, f I guess it is our, everyone's fight, but what I'm trying to say is, like, I'm not a person of color. I don't get to speak on these issues as someone who understands I'm just an ally, and I'm someone who wants to put my word out there and spread the word out there and just talk about this because it is very very important in my opinion and i think it needs to be discussed and i think things need to change i think legislature needs to change i think we need to stop closing our eyes to police brutality and we need to realize that it is real it is very real like i hope after this horrible horrible inju untrust mur murder people will understand that police brutality is real and if they don't think so, I don't know what to tell you. Obviously, this isn't the first case of police brutality. And that sucks. The fact that there was any cases sucks. The fact that it continues happening sucks. The fact that it was 
four policemen against one individual in the fact that three of them two of them were holding him down one of them was choking him in a in one post and i can't find it right now but i will link the article or i don't know if i can link the facebook post itself because i don't want you guys knowing my personal facebook but essentially some sort of fighter i don't know what fighter like mma or like um some sort of fighter described that this what he saw was a blood choke and that he would not wish it upon his worst enemy and it's restricting blood flow it's not just restricting air and it's a painful painful way to die i read in an article that they choked him for six minutes and 48 seconds i believe two minutes after he was already unresponsive or eight minutes or something i'm sorry i will link everything that i've read and all my sources down below so you guys can read up on it yourself um yep there's a picture that i will also try to insert or maybe link or whatever of a white man and the headline at least in the news was something about murder and so this white guy i'm assuming murdered somebody i don't know for a fact i'm not gonna assume actually but let's say he did murder somebody because that's what the fucking headline you know at the bottom of the news um story was but basically he was getting a bottle of water from the cop while a black man who allegedly had cur forged currency actually let me look it up let me look up the punishment for counterfeit currency I'm Googling counterfeit currency $20 punishment. Here, I'll, this is coming from criminallawforadvice.com. What are the penalties for using counterfeit money? Using or manufacturing counterfeit money is a violation of the United States Code and can be considered criminal fraud if, if it is found that a person intentionally created or used counterfeit money to purchase goods. The crime can be punishable by up to $15,000. Or 15 years in prison. Not murder, my guy. Not murder. Non-violent crime. Again, like, literally non-violent. The man was not armed. Uh, frustrated. I'm so angry and I'm getting really upset. Let me make sure I've hit all of my points. Oh, yes, another one. I'm very angry that the people who swore to serve and protect and, and I'm very angry that they thought it was okay for them to use their power against somebody and to kill somebody. Um, not, never okay. The only people that I think deserve to die are like rapists and pedophiles, but that's beside the point. That's for a whole nother video. Um, and like I said, while I necessarily don't agree with all the rioting, not right, okay. I don't agree with all of the destruction of property and the fires and everything, but that's not mine to agree with you know that's not my like i i can understand why they're doing it i'm not gonna say anything not my fight right I, I, like I, again i should find a better way to word that because i don't want to come off as like not my problem because it's a big problem and since clearly i'm passionate enough to make a fucking 15 minute long video about it like yes i care i care a lot all i've been sharing lately has been like black lives matter and like updates on the court cases and um all the articles um i'm just gonna close my laptop because i've read all the things i wanted to read and i'm from minnesota myself so it hit, it hit close to home i saw a couple of lives from my friends that went to protest initially we're on curfew in oregon here as well because of all the riots downtown and you know like as my last excuse me point i just wanted to say while I will never understand what it's like to fear for your life walking down the street because of your skin color, I am always here to advocate and be an ally. I am always here to support black folks, any minority really. I am always, always, always going to stand up for justice. And our justice system isn't fucking justice because all these men, if they weren't cops, they would have been immediately jailed. And the fact that they haven't been yet, at least not all of them, is really pissing me off. I don't know, honestly, what I find more frustrating, whether it was the three men killing him or the one man, the officer that was just standing there watching. So 
you know, they're all still accessories to murder, and I don't understand why the fuck they're not in jail yet, and I, if it was literally any civilian, they'd be in jail immediately, immediately, especially with a fucking video, a video proof, like a recording of you killing someone and you're not in jail. The world is nuts right now, and my heart goes out to George's family and to the family of every fucking victim of police brutality because that shit is ridiculous. I'm glad people are rioting. I'm glad 30 states are rioting because that's how shit changes. We cannot be silent. So I want to call out to you to please, if you can't go to the front lines, like I said, donate money, donate your time, cook food for people, bring water to people in the protests. Or, like, at least have someone else deliver it for you if you can't go. Like I'm saying, there's really a lot of ways you could help. Even just raising your voice and standing up for black folks. And if you're white, using your privilege to help black folks right now because it's needed right now. This this one kind of was a long one. And a very passionate one and a very sensitive one. So if you watch the whole thing, thank you so much for sticking around. I reached out to a friend who actually went to the protest and she did a vlog on her YouTube channel. So if she's cool with me linking her video, I will do that because I think it's important. Especially because she herself is a person of color. I think it's important for her voice to be heard. It's important for all black folks' voices to be heard. Especially in this time. Black Lives Matter. You know justice for floyd for george floyd and i really hope that his family could you know get the support that they need right now from their community i couldn't imagine i could not imagine i can't imagine what it's like god i'm so upset and you know that's all i've been thinking about it's all i've been boasting about really i I just hope that shit changes from this point forward because that's how history changed. You know, that's how legislature changes. That's how society changes. And the fact that this happened proves to me, it's fucked up, but it proves to me that racism is still very prominent and pre prevalent in society. And it proves to me that cops are shitty. Not all cops. Cops are shitty. And he didn't deserve to die. The case fucking closed. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please share, because I think this is a very important thing to share. I'm not just saying share, you know. I'm saying share because I put a lot of thought into it. You know, I took all those notes. I read all those articles. I'm not editing it because I've said everything that I wanted to say. And I kept it under 20 minutes. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I mean... Stay safe out there if you're protesting, really. My heart goes out to his family and everybody else's families who have been affected by police brutality. My heart goes out to every person of color because, you know, I mean, now they're probably going to be more afraid for their lives. And that's fucked up. Nobody should be afraid to be killed by a cop. Especially because he was a very... He was, first of all... I don't even know if he did use a counterfeit bill. And second of all, he, it was non-violent and he was not armed. <sighs> Guess I'll see you in the next one, guys.